famed Marine Corps General Chesty Puller, who commanded regiments in World War II and Korea, once reportedly gave a status report to headquarters saying, we are surrounded. We have them exactly where we want them. That kind of positive attitude in the face of overwhelming odds could seem more like a denial of reality, but not if you have confidence in the ultimate outcome. I was reminded of this recently when we were notified that the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals had denied this ministry's appeal in our federal lawsuit against the Southern Poverty Law Center and Amazon. Like General Puller's possibly apocryphal statement, I can say that we have them exactly where we want them. Now, how can I say that? Because frankly, this is exactly where we expected to be at this point in our case. We have been looking to the U.S. Supreme Court from the very beginning, and we have already filed our appeal to them. Now, I and our board of directors recognize that this is the longest of long shots. Historically, the high court only agrees to hear 4.7% of the cases submitted to them. But God is not subject to the odds, and we have reason to celebrate the court's opinion dismissing the Amazon portion of our suit was actually astonishingly beneficial to Christians. The court defended the bedrock First Amendment principle that, quote, no person in this country may be compelled to subsidize speech by a third party that he or she does not wish to support, end quote. We look forward to seeing that applied to Christian bakers and photographers and florists who have been unjustly prosecuted for exercising their consciences. And the radical left SPLC has admitted in their own court filings that their designation of us as a so-called hate group is based purely on their own subjective opinion. Their designation is false and defamatory, and Justices Gorsuch and Thomas have signaled a desire to revisit the standards for defamation against groups like ours. You know, Goliath must have been seen as a sure thing by the Philistines and many Jews. Yet as David said, the battle is the Lord's, and that is so in this present case as well. Please join us in prayer that God would glorify himself in our ultimate victory in this case.